Sunny Hostin faced pushback from her own co-hosts after she tried to connect last week's earthquake in New York City and yesterday's total solar eclipse to, that's right, climate change. Let's watch. Uh, we've got she the earthquake, the she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture is here. The rapture's here, and then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas, oh, for the, the first time in cicada. like no, no, 100 no, no, years. No, 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 no. Two different, no, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. Two, two different there's times. two different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad cicadas. But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe, <laughs> but, you know. Maybe well, you know better, I, but in I will a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists, that's more or something point. is really going on. Is returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. It, 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 it happens, and the, and the, the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen, and they actually can say when these things are going to happen. So all these folks who are saying, you know, it's a sign from God. God doesn't give you warning. <laughs> okay. So that was hilarious. Now, I don't know uh, what's going on exactly there. I should note that we had to interrupt the taping of this segment because there was a fire in the building, <laughs> smoke everywhere, and we had to rush outside. So maybe the evil influence of Donald Trump to affect the weather has reached as deep as the offices of Reason Magazine. Yeah, and people were talking about Mercury being in retrograde or something else that sounds vaguely demonic to <laughs> my Catholic sensibilities, but I do have to point out that it was in fact a dumpster fire as we were about to film this show, and I think viewers should be aware of that. Just Yeah, and plenty of jokes about libertarians. <laughs> and the, Look, if there was a private fire department, of course we would call that, but there's a monopoly on who gets to put out fires, and most of it is done by private people, uh, volunteers working in the fire department. Anyway, uh, I thought this segment was hilarious because Whoopi actually started correcting a lot of the things Sonny was saying. The, the cicadas uh, do reappear cyclically. There's like two groups of cicadas that, you know, the way they, they overlap at def definite periods in time that can be well anticipated and are not coinciding with the 2024 election because this is the end of times or something like that. Uh, earthquakes not affected by climate change. But there's all there's this whole habit, right? This whole industry of kind of climate doomerism people who every time there is extreme weather, even though I think it's fairly debated whether climate change is how much it's affecting extreme weather, those kinds of things. You always, everything that happens, it's always, well, this is because of climate change. Well, we also have to consider the fact, besides, you know, whether the proper pronunciation of cicada is actually <laughs> cicada, according to Sunny Hostin, but we have to consider the fact that the use of fossil fuels, which they would like to get rid of due to so-called climate change and its effects, uh, has made these extreme weather events significantly less deadly for the average American because we have access to this great technology that was fueled by fossil fuels that helps keep people safe, whether it's making their, their buildings stronger and more resistant to extreme weather events, whether it's even something as simple as people having cheap access to heating and, and AC um, in the event of either a heat wave or having extreme freezing temperatures. These are things that legitimately save lives. And so there's definitely a trade-off that you have to talk about when you claim, oh, well, Martha's Vineyard is going to be washed over by the ocean in five years because of climate change and rising sea levels, and everyone's gonna die because their second homes are going to go into the Atlantic Ocean. No, absolutely. Uh, when there's an earthquake in New York, as there was the other day, we get to all kind of joke about it because no one was harmed, no, I think there wasn't even any structural damage to any building for exactly the reasons you described. When there's an earthquake or an extreme weather event in a developing part of the world that doesn't have, uh, has not yet had access to the technologies and easy energy and all of that kind of stuff, people die, it's horrific. People have died you know, throughout human history because of extreme weather and we've managed to, to, to conquer that because of exactly the technologies um, you're talking about. Um, it, it was also, now I never want to make fun of someone for mispronouncing a word on TV, right? There, but for the grace of God, go I. We've all been there. But um, I just thought it was funny seeing her corrected along all those lines. Yeah, and, and you also have her uh, going along with this idea that 
you can't predict an eclipse. Like the eclipses are actually caused by climate change, she suggested, which was another um, false yeah. statement that Whoopi Goldberg corrected. And obviously eclipses are also cyclical. I think we they've know been exactly predicting those for happen. like hundreds of years. Yeah, it, there's kind of an act actual <laughs> exact science to that, but she's not the only one. Sheila Jackson Lee made an idiotic statement earlier this week by claiming that the moon is a planet that's made up of gases to a bunch of elementary school children and then claimed she misspoke. Um, I'm not sure how, but that was indeed her defense. Maybe that's one of those are you smarter than a fifth grader things or whatever where you find out that... Right. You know. Let's bring Jeff Foxworthy back. <laughs> let's have the show again, but let's do it just for anyone who's on TV, and I don't think it would end well for them. All right. We'll be back with more right after this. Mm -hmm. 